and I'm back. It's been a while and I cannot apologize enough. This episode is made possible by OIT VoIP. Find your best-in-class revenue generation for MSPs all over the world. Learn more via the link in the show notes. Good morning and welcome to the October 29th episode of MSP Dispatch, your source for news, community events, and commentary in the MSP channel. My name is Tony Francisco and I'm back. It's been a while and I cannot apologize enough. Uh, we had a little something called... Um, What's that called? Oh yeah, Hurricane, Hurricane Helene. And then right after that, because it didn't hurt enough, Hurricane Milton here in Florida. Let me just get the rumors out of the way now. Um, I did lose everything. I had about five feet of water in my house and um, I cannot describe what it is like to lose everything, but I can describe how amazing it feels to have every single person jump in, asking if you need help, jumping in. If you want it or not, they're helping. The result of that, was me being on the front row seat to seeing the best of humanity and to everyone out there, my friends in my private life, my friends in the MSP community, it has been absolutely incredible. But you know what else is also incredible? Some of the news. So let's get right into the first story. In my first story from channeled e to ecom Canalis, says the IT outages spotlights the importance of backup plans. The Canalis analyst Matthew Ball emphasized the need for a strong backup plan amid increasing IT outages, which stems from not only cyber threats, but also infrastructure failures, poor updates, and human error. Cybersecurity spending in North America is projected to reach $131 billion US in 2024, with a compound annual growth rate of 10% throughout 2027. Despite rising budgets, many organizations remain vulnerable due to a lack of resilience planning and over-reliance on technology. Ball suggested that virtual CISO, that's V-C-I-S-O for services, could help, noting that only 2% of partners currently offer them. He also highlighted the industry's challenge of balancing cost reduction and resilience in cybersecurity platforms, urging vendors to prioritize software safety and continuity plans. So this is where I jump straight into my background. Please go through the fire drill. If you can't explain it, you don't understand it. This is the time to just rip the bandaid off, get the turds out on the table, say, hey, we really, really had our stuff together over here. We really, really didn't see our stuff that we're missing over there. This is the time for planning. This is a time for us to get together right now and recognize that there are things that are constantly evolving in ways that you didn't expect to happen. This is not just an immediate remediation of everything. This is a prioritization and a path to resolution in all of the items that are on your checklist. And that's exactly what you, the MSP community is about. The specialty, the experience, you've been initiated, you have been battle tested, and you recognize that these services and the technologies that you're using are the kind of some of the core pillars that you're wrapping around your services and experience around. And eventually, slowly but surely, there will be a new technology and a new post holding up your tent. And you can slowly but surely uh, involve that and migrate away from a variety of technologies into a singular technology. So with that, let's jump straight into our next story. In a story from darkreading.com, LinkedIn hit with a $335 million fine for data privacy violations. LinkedIn was fined $335 million by the European Union of Regulators October 24th for violating GDPR data privacy rules. Ireland's Data Protection Commission, that's the DPC, which oversees LinkedIn's compliance, found that the platform lacked a lawful basis for using personal data to target users with ads. This investigation began after a complaint from the French Data Protection Authority, focusing on LinkedIn's data processing for behavioral analysts and targeting advertising. The decision includes a reprimand in order for LinkedIn to adjust its practices and the hefty fine. Although LinkedIn claims it has complied with regulation, it will make necessary adjustments to align with GDPR requirements. Here is the rule of thumb. If you provide any data, it will be used in some capacity. Now, let's 
flip that on its head and coming from a software development side, if the data is available, you can do whatever you want with it. That's just the rule of thumb. Now let's go back to the story. If you make your data available, people can do whatever they want with it. <laughs> so, uh, so when you start looking at the amount, the volume, uh, and the diversity of data that is voluntarily provided from you. There's so many items that they can actually take this data and correlate it to provide a complete dossier of everything about you, and it's going to be fairly accurate. So when you're providing data, not only is it used for advertising, but you are able to now provide a treasure trove <laughs> for hackers to find data that's needed to exploit whatever is required. And you may not be the objective, but maybe, maybe you and enough of your peers have the ability to social engineer someone upstream that could affect millions of others. So it's a way of thinking that you have to think uh, larger than what you currently are. And doing the same thing a million times has massive results. So please, everyone out there, be safe with the data that you provide. It can be used for reasons that you don't understand at this particular moment and collectively could have devastating uh, consequences. Please, please, please be safe, stay educated, and stay involved with the community. So let's get into some community events. One of the events happening right now, DatoCon 2024. That's an in-person event in October 28th through the 30th. We have IT Nation Connect. That's also an in-person event, November 6th through the 8th in Orlando, Florida. And finally, we have Channel Pro Live. That's in Los Angeles, California. That's November 11th through the 12th. Okay, everyone, let's wrap this up. Thank you so much for tuning in listening to this. Don't forget, we have posts, videos coming out every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, keeping everyone up to date. We also have this amazing place, uh, what's that called? Uh, Discord server, boom, right there. Uh, flash that QR code, uh, go to our Discord server, stay involved with the rest of the community. There's so many awesome conversations happening from so many smart people, just crazy smart, like annoyingly intelligent people, which is so awesome. And if you need to, just send us an email at news at mspmedia.tv. And with that, I want to say to everyone, please, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being involved. Please stay safe and educated. Until later. If you found this episode eye-opening, catch more MSP Dispatch at 10 a.m. throughout the week. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.